We're going to learn now the second half of Perek Aleph, Aloch Abayz, and Elos Chomotz Matzah. And we're going down to the Pirush Ramah Meir, Machloig is between the Ramah and the Raiva and the Isu of Soyo. Isu of Chomotz is a soil that caused it to become Chomotz Echodu. They are the, one and the same. This is what the Ramam states. The Raivad disagrees. He says, They are only equivalent when it comes to the Kezayas of eating the Tzoyrim. Uh, but as far as destroying them, ridding themselves of them, or eating them, is a difference. That the Chomets, if it's Nifsal, Ma'achidaz Kelov, you do not have to get rid of it. And so, or, even though that it's nifsa machil skelev, that a dog won't eat it, you have to destroy it and get rid of it. Because you can use it to ferment other doughs. Only if the soer does not have to be removed, if it has been used to fill a crack, for example, in a seat, and it's been covered with tit, or with paint, or something else, meaning you will not take it out of there. And what it says in the Tosefto, that if a, if a bread became spoiled, moldy, you have to destroy it, because you can, if it's referring there where you can be used to ferment other doughs. Paschal soil coma. There it's talking of a bread, a loaf of soil. The ibechometz lo yetzor lazeatam ad kan l'shoyne. But for soil, for chometz you wouldn't need that reasoning uh, because uh, it's not valid to be eaten, and therefore one need not get rid of it. Now the Maga Mishnah cites the Mishnah in Beyer. Beishamay says so er is because ayes and chometz is because service which is larger than the kezayes, which is a tamar, a date. Beis Hill say both of them are because ayes. The Gemara and Beya explains that they only disagree regarding what has to be destroyed, when it has to be destroyed, what the shear is, as far as balyeroy goes, but when it comes to we eating them. Now we'll turn the page to 26. Then in the Birj it says, then everyone agrees, like Beis Hillel, that the shear is a kezayis. That's what the Ramam says. Is a asoer. They shear is one, with regard to destroying them and eating them. The Magen Mishnah. Explains that the Ravid is arguing that only and they're only equal with regard to their measure. But beer, if destroying them, chomets that is no longer edible by a dog doesn't have to be gotten rid of at all. Whereas soer, even though even though a dog will not eat it, since it has the capability of making something chomets, therefore you have to get rid of it as well. What it says in the Tosefta Apash Ivsho. You have to get rid of it. It's talking about so'er. And therefore, you have to get rid of it even though it is not edible. And, he, and uh, he's pointing out, the Ravid is pointing out that the Rambam doesn't differentiate between these two situations. Because there's a Brysim Sochim that learns, specifically states, Apasha Ifsho. You have to get destroy it because you can make other bread from it. Abshimen Loza Oima, that it's only talking about when the, it's still extent and you want to eat it. But if it's part of a bench, as we said, he fixed it, he used the dough to fix a chair so he can sit on it and he covered it with tit, then he, he is not, doesn't have to get rid of it. Now the Mega Mishnah brings a second. But it's that if it's talking about where a dog would eat it, 
then it's considered food in with regard to making other food items if this if it itself is tome it, it can be metame other food items and it has to be burnt with that which was nitmo bepesach so the goinim are medayik from the second brisa that if a dog will not eat it from the chometz you do not have to get rid of it at all therefore the brisa that the arrived brings is talking about when when it is not nifsel is kelev, and that's where Rav Shimon says it if it can make others uh, it is he has to be destroyed. But if it was made part of a chair, even though it's still a bread, and it's not talking about so specifically. Now we're going to turn the page again. And go to the final page of Perik Aleph Aloha Beis. Furthermore, the Magen Mishnah points out the Loshna Brais is pass. And usually, when you talk about Sa'ur, you only talk about, you don't say pass. Pass is usually mentioned only with regard to bread, which you cannot ferment things from. Thus, and according to the Ravid, that the Brais is talking about Sa'ur, we have difficulty with the situation. It must be that the Bryce, the first Bryce is talking about the Chometz of Pesach. And Isra and Chometz are both the same. And he says, so I found that the Ba'an Alevi agrees with that. Now the Kesev Mishnah explains the Ravid within Sa'or that the Kesev Mishnah argues that the Ramam's statement, she is a Chometz and Sa'or Shovim, that they're both equivalent, is only with regard to burning it. Because in the Mishnah, is the Machlokes Beisham and Beisil, what is the amount that one is obligated to burn? But as far as eating, as we learned before, whether it's a Kesevus or Kesayis, but with regard to eating, everyone agrees that the amount of the Chiyuv is Bekesayis. Therefore, he doesn't come to tell us that Aloha is Kesayis he comes to tell us that Allah is like Beis Hillel, that the Shear is because I is with regard to destroying Chomets that's in one Rishush. Rishus. Now the Rambam made, it was very clear. He starts with Beer Chomets and he says, How many are He finishes with Sa'ir to tell you that they're both equivalent. As the Gemara says, that the reason they're mentioned in the Posik Chomets and Sa'ir is not to tell us two Lavim, but rather. That to tell us that they're equivalent, and therefore, when he, he brings the positive, he doesn't bring the lav because he wants to emphasize that chometz and soer are one and the same. The Kesem mission now continues that the din of what's chometz and what's soer is found in beya. Chometz is royal achila. It's something that's edible, bread. With soya is not royal achil, it's fermented dough. And the Gemara tells us the Torah needed to tell us both because one each one has a, a chidush that the other one doesn't have. And what is that? That even though the chometz is, is edible, but it's not, it doesn't it, it doesn't have the capacity to make other things chometz. So even though it's not edible. It's also because it makes other things edible. But as far as the Surim, they are equivalent. And so Rabbeinu Manayach also says. And to explain the Ravid, that as far as Inyam Biur and Inyam Achilo, there's a difference between them. So the Kesef of Medishin says, that's not necessarily so, because it would seem that according to Achila, everyone agrees the Isus Begazayas. And you can't say that there's a difference according to the Ravid with regard to chometz, even with regard to eating it, that one of them is only b'achidus kelev, and the other one is poto. But since it's post nifsal b'achidus kelev, obviously you'll be poto on both of them, and you can't say that one of them, when it's nifsal b'achidus kelev, if he eats it, he's poto b'asheni is muta, because which one? Will you permit it with Achilo? It is 
each aspect of chometz being edible and soer being forbidden because it makes things fermented has aspects that are more lenient and more stringent. Therefore, Gezer Mishnah wants to say that the Raiva is saying that they are equivalent only to their measurement and to their eating. But to get rid of them is a difference that if he eats a gezayis of chometz or soer, if it was not nifsal machil skelav is chayim koritz and nifsal is poto, but beer, there's a difference between them. She chometz that's nifsal machil skelav, you don't have to get rid of. And soer she nifsal machil, you still have to get rid of it because you can make other things chometz from it. The gezav mishnah brings the beer of the magid mishnah, and he states. That he brought rayas proves specifically that according to the Rambam, that even a past chometz that was spoiled, it can be cause other isis acheres, it can cause other doughs to become fermented. According to the Rambam, only soer could be, according to the Ravid rather, only soer can make other isis fermented. Therefore, he explained that the Ravid is talking about only the Sa'ir. Because the Mishnah adds that the Rosh is, is of the opinion like the Rambam, and so the Ran and the Riv, since he only brings one Brysa, and according to the Ravid, he should have brought both Brysa to tell you there's a difference between Sa'ir and Chometz. We'll turn the page to 29. And we can finish this section of Halacha Beis. Legavi Chometz and Nis Avish Vinifs Machid is Kelav. The Rosh says that they are not chayiv to be mivaya. Although there are those who eat it, permit it to be eaten, and those who forbid it. And he himself is of the opinion that it's forbidden to be eaten, even when it's not worthy, when it's not. Uh, uh, Worthy to be eaten by, even by a dog. Lecha Mishnah asks the question according to the Ravid that is a difference between Soer and Chometz. She Soer, even though it cannot be eaten by a dog, Yechayev Levaroi, come to Gemara. So the Gemara asks a question why do you need two Psukim? According to the Ravid, you need them to tell you the difference between the Adinim. And he answers that even according to the Ravid, for sure, you don't have to get rid of Soer. It was Nifsa Machiris Kelov. Because if it doesn't have an Issa Chomets, Klau, and the obligation to, to get rid of it is Midrabonan, Kiroy le Sachakoi. It's Midrabonan, and therefore, even according to the Rav and the Ram, the, Ram, the Ram, the Ram would agree with the Ramah that Menatoira is no difference between them. It's just because the Chachom saw that you could make from the Sa'ur, uh, even though it's not edible, you can make other things. Uh, ferment and become chomets, therefore they forbade it.